score P yo what is going on you guys I am back at it again yes indeed for April mid month yes indeed here to let you know what is going on surrounding you for April the 15th through the 31st so I'm starting with you guys because you know I'm a Scorpio and I said we never start with Scorpio so we gonna start with Scorpio because I just want because this is my page and I want to do what I want to do okay how we doing okay how you doing okay so anyway, Father, thank you so much for bringing us here today. I got my coffee. My kids is downstairs living their best life. They got all their cousins. We just look. They it. It's a good day. It is surely a good day. So I just want to say thank you, all of you guys for tuning in, showing me love, light, and support. Um, thank everybody that is a new subscriber. Um, if you want to book a personal and private reading, go to the About tab. There's a hyperlink for my booking, which is Scorpion Red Tarot at Simply Book Me. I only do video readings, okay, either on Google Hangouts or Instagram. So after you book with me, make sure to use that other link that's right below the booking link on the About page that says Instagram send me a message on my Instagram page say hey I booked for this and this and this and that a day so we can connect back on that platform like I said have it be Instagram or Google Hangouts and my email is scorpionbreads at gmail.com all right if you want to use um, Hangouts okay so thank you all for all of the like shares and subscribes the personal bookings if this video gives you insight and if you want to share some love and light want to send a love donation you can do so the description has the PayPal link okay so thank you guys again let's get into the reading for Scorpio for April the 15th through the 31st all right father God thank you so much for bringing us here thank you so much for helping us you know get ourselves focused and getting our heads together father God we are just you know blooming right now and blossoming in this early start of the springtime and you know as the flowers and the trees are starting to wake up out of the hibernation and starting to bloom and blossom we are doing the same thing so father Help us awaken. Help us stretch our arms and our legs the same way that the beautiful flowers, they start to, you know, stretch their rose petals out just to get that sunlight, Father God. Illuminate, illuminate to us whatever it is that we need to see. Let that sun bask on our skin, Father, so that we can feel your warmth and your glow and your love, Father. Please give us guidance for the sign of Scorpio for April the 15th through the 31st. And thank you again for all of the divine guidance in the past, present, and future. I thank you so much abundantly, Father God. Please give the sign of Scorpio guidance for mid-April 2019. Thank you again. Mm. Child, yes, 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 yes. I'm sorry, y'all, because let me tell you, I can't get up in the morning without my coffee, child. Is it just me? Is it just me? Listen, y'all, I feel like I'm addicted to caffeine. My candle just went out. I feel like I'm addicted to caffeine because when I wake up in the morning and I do not have coffee or a Pepsi or something, like, I have a splitting headache. And this morning, I tried to get up and not have me no coffee and stuff like that. And I was like, uh oh, girl. Go ahead and make you your coffee, child, because otherwise your head is going to be rocking. Honey, I'm going to have to fight that addiction. I'm going to try to find me a way to wean myself up off this coffee, honey, because I ain't trying to be letting no coffee have no control over my head space, okay? I feel like that's what some Scorpios are feeling like. They got something that they addicted to, like this coffee that they trying to get about their head space. They're like, oh, you ain't about to be controlling my head. If I don't have no coffee, I got a damn headache. I wish I would goddess all right so it says honor your divine feminine energy see your inner your inner beauty love every part of you so that is the center energy for my scorpios y'all are in a goddess energy and for my scorpio men y'all are you know learning how to respect the goddesses in your life or just recognizing that someone that you might not have looked at in that light that they really are a supreme goddess and you are recognizing and respecting her divine feminine power like that has been illuminated to you all right so again honor your divine feminine energy see your inner beauty love every part of you and this card surely shows someone that is extremely beautiful inside and out you could just look at her until it's a lot of mystical spiritual and richness and beauty that lies 
beneath those eyes. And that if that ain't a Scorpio, I don't know who that is. Look at her eyes, y'all. Ain't that a Scorpio glare? Glare? Ain't that the way Scorpios would be staring into people's souls, honey? Mm-hmm. Goddess energy, baby. Piercing eyes, honey. Yes. Mm-hmm. So let's find out about this goddess, this red unicorn that Scorpio is. Yes, sir. Please give me guidance for my Scorpios for mid-April 2019. Thank you again. Big old freak. Hey, big booty, big old freak. Hey, come on, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Stop missing that music, y'all. Y'all about to start some trouble. <laughs> oh, I just feel chills in my arms. Y'all about to start some trouble. Oh, the Ace of Cups. Come on, Scorpio. Oh, y'all about to. I just knew it. Y'all was about to start some fucking trouble. Bitch, hold on. I'm about to turn this shit up now. Hold on. No, we ain't doing that, though. Let me stop listening. Oh my goodness, hold on, I'm gonna have to let it rock out. Ah. Okay, Scorpio, hold on, bitch. Scorpio said he begging me for the treatment. Scorpio, is you somebody's fucking addictive ass coffee, Scorpio? Is someone recognizing that you is the motherfucking goddess, that you is queen mother out here, Scorpio? And they is out here falling in love for the Scorpio because you is out here also queen goddess. Ain't nobody freak like me, but what? Scorpio, y'all just doing me. I knew I, some said start. Start the motherfucking readings off with Scorpio, bitch. Because, listen, y'all just did the fuck out of me just now. And the music is telling y'all story. Because, listen, somebody said, somebody is saying with this Ace of Cups right here, mm-mm. Don't nobody say that now, nutter, the way Scorpio say that now, nutter. Don't nobody say that now, motherfucking nutter, the way Scorpio say that now, nutter. When she say, ain't nobody a freak like me, Scorpio, tuh, ain't playing. Do you understand? You got somebody cup running over. They're looking at you like you a supreme mother, like you are a goddess. Like they, like you got them so bad that they look, they want, they want you. <laughs> Like, they want you to just, like, ooh. I, I want to say, like, whoever you fucking with, I want to say that they're very nasty. Because it looks like milk coming out of this cup. I, I, I want to say, like, whoever this is, they want to, like, I'm hearing uh, they want you to cream all over them. Like, uh, just someone's nasty. Who the fuck are y'all fucking with? Y'all fucking with someone that's nasty. The Eight of Pentacles. Four Swords. Oh, but you don't, okay. But you working on yourself right now. And you, you, yeah, you in a hibernation. You in a hibernation. Oh, that's okay. Spring, they want you to spring. And they want you to come out. They want you to wake the fuck up and come out of this fucking hibernation. Because they want you. Oh, this is somebody that you did that. You've ended a relationship with. Uh-huh. You in hibernation. You ain't, you ain't, you retreated from this person. You don't deal with this person. Oh, the chariot in reverse. Okay, this is someone who is a someone that you there's there there's been an ending in a, in a relationship here. And this person realizes that you're a goddess now. And now this person, their emotions all are feeling all over and they want you to cream all on them and all this shit with their nasty ass thoughts. Somebody's thinking some really nasty ass thoughts about y'all. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they just see you working on yourself and you done took yourself out of the game and they they I feel like this person is regretting having lost this foundation with you because they realize that you are the goddess, the star man. Uh-huh. This is someone who had the keys, who had the keys to make this relationship. They had the power to to determine how this relationship went. They had that star man power. Like Scorpio loved this person so much that they kind of gave this person the power to control this relationship. And as you can see, they had the ability that if they want to, they had the key to all power. And 
you know, growth and perfection into a new, you know, to, to take the relationship to a new stage. And then they also had a gun. You know what I'm saying? They had a gun right here. And they also had the power to tool to destruction. They had the key to new life and happiness. And then they also had the tool to destruction. And clearly, as you can hold on, y'all. Excuse me. I'm sorry, y'all, because them kids are the best, and they best goddamn life. Anyway, like I was saying, this person had the key to success and the tool to destruction. And clearly, this person, they used the, the tool to destruction because they're emotionally unbalanced right now, and they don't know how to move forward. There's no forward movement. There has been a complete halt and an ending to a relationship. Do you see what I'm saying? There has been a complete halt and an end to a relationship. Did they had they had the tools to decide how this grew or where this went? And Scorpio went and retreated on them. Scorpio was in their best bestest. They in their inner goddess or they you know, um, you know, they they are in their inner best power right now. They're getting their minds together, they're growing. You see what I'm saying? So Scorpio has spiritually, um, because they're in a place of tranquil meditation, like they are illuminating, like Scorpio has a glow, listen, Scorpio has like a mystical glow going about them right now, do you understand what I'm saying, they are truly being that rare, mystical unicorn that goddess that queen mother that shira that mira she is stepping into a mira you understand shiba baby shiba baby okay call her shiba baby okay scorpio is not playing with y'all she is spiritually elevating she is working on her finances in her career and she is stepping into her divine feminine energy. So, you know, Scorpio is loving their self. You see? That's what Scorpio was doing. So when you read this spread backwards, you really get the full picture. But when I read it going forwards, this person now recognize you as queen mother. They now recognize that they love you. They now recognize that, yes, this is their fault because they had the tools to success or to destruction. They chose destruction. But now they love you. Now they appreciate you. Now they see you as the goddess and as queen mother. And as the true mother of someone that they would want to mother their children. Just be, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, be big mama. Like, they, they, like big mama things. Like, they realize that you big mama. They see how you working on yourself and how you getting successful. Your coins is moving up. Do you understand what I'm saying? You were caring about... How people look at you. You're not involving yourself in no fuckery no more. You are by yourself. And you are peaceful by yourself. And they see that. And I believe that they see. That makes them fall even more in love with you. Because you don't need no fuck. Like, it's like Scorpio is so much at peace with their self. They do not need no family foundation for them to feel at home. You understand what I'm saying? They are at home within their self. They are at home within their self. They, Scorpio, okay, so I'm going I'm to break it down to you like this. You ever heard that song? It's like a song that say something to the extent like it's better to have somebody at home than nobody at all. You know, kind of like even if, like have you ever talked to someone like they being cheated on? They, like the person that's dogging them out. They got a fucked up relationship. And you single. You don't got nobody. But this person always is real quick to say. But at least I got a man. But at least I got a man. And to Scorpio it's like bitch. I'm so fine and comfortable by myself. Like I'm at peace by myself. I'm, I'm more happier by myself than being a dumbass bitch. Sounding like you at least I got a man. No bitch. At least I got my sanity. Like, shit, I'm good. You understand what I'm saying? And, like, this person sees that Scorpio is truly at one with they self. And they, they're, they're, they're not one of them dumbass bitches that they could typically manipulate and misuse and, and, and run their game on. Because they just need somebody to fulfill them. And they're willing to deal with a whole bunch of negative drama and just torrential 
rain pour coming down all the time in their home environment Scorpio ain't willing to deal with that they'd rather be by themselves than just to say that they got something in their house that ain't going no motherfucking where house dirty everything disheveled man don't come home man don't help do nothing you understand what I'm saying both of y'all are going in two different directions towards the way that y'all are not going nowhere in the motherfucking relationship Scorpio realized like I have to say listen I am the judge. I am the juror. I decide if I want to deal with pleasure and pain. And Scorpio decides I'm a goddess. I, you know? Mm -mm. And this person knows that this chariot is not going to move forward successfully trying to. Um, no matter how much you love Scorpio, like, woulda, shoulda, coulda, like, uh, realizing that you love Scorpio hindsight and you know what i'm saying with hindsight being 2020 that shit don't mean nothing to scorpio you know scorpio it's like after you in it you out you decided that you wanted to be out so scorpio don't give a fuck like i said scorpio is loving their self and they are working on like bettering their environment like scorpio is focusing on success inner success it's like I can't want nothing from nobody at this moment because I'm too busy like showing myself my own inner powers and once I realize my own inner powers it ain't nothing that y'all fuck niggas can give me <laughs> you know what I'm saying like Scorpio is good it's good just like it's good and this goddess divine feminine power like no bullshit or whoever these Scorpio men are dealing with this woman is realizing I am good on my own. Like I don't need to look for no validation or no fulfillment from nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like I'd rather be by myself than be around. It's quality. Quality, not quantity. They're not just willing to accept anybody in their life. They're good with just loving themselves. I don't need... I'm not like Scorpio's like, I'm not one of them bitches. I'm a fucking goddess. Don't compare me to these bitches. I'm not... You know what I'm saying? Queen stands alone until we can find someone who can measure up to our level. Do you understand? A king. Like, shit, a king stands alone and a queen stands alone. Can't nobody, the two butts don't, can't sit in no fucking throne. You gotta sit up there and rule by your motherfucking self. And that's what Scorpio, listen, Scorpio needs somebody like them. Scorpio don't need just any motherfucking thing. To awareness. Rest and rejuvenation. Look, I told you Scorpio is resting and rejuvenating like they are like, and especially in springtime. It, uh, Scorpio's like, I can finally go outside and with no shoes on and shit now and just put my feet in the ground. Like Scorpio is on some flower child goddamn hippie ass shit right now. Scorpio not bothered with y'all niggas. Like, I, look, Scorpio probably sitting out in the woods, smoking some tree, sitting near the trees, okay? Bitch, burning some incense, listen to some tranquil ass music, meditating, bitch. Like Scorpio is. <laughs> Hold on, in my funky Dineva voice, awareness. Okay, bitch. I was. <laughs> Hold on, funky. Where my funky at? Awareness. The Scorpio that came into awareness. In my funky Dineva goddamn voice. Goddamn Scorpio, listen, I listen, listen me, listen to me. Scorpio has come into a place of self-awareness. Scorpio is not worried about none of y'all motherfuckers. None of y'all. Not no job, not no family, not no friends, by no pussy ass hoes, by no fuck niggas, by no fake ass friend. nothing, none of y'all. Like, Scorpio is so in peace with their fucking self. Chill. Chill. They done found that foundation within their self, honey. Like, they, listen, they done found order. They done stepped into their managerial role. They, listen, this, they, 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 look, they found reliability within tapping into their self. They're like, man, I got, I got, my foundation got to be good before I can even allow anybody else in my space. Scorpio is not even interested with anybody being in their space right now. Scorpio just want to be by their fucking self. Scorpio is on, it's basically on an introvert mode right now. You know what I'm saying? They is on some introvert shit right now. 
They just want to be left the fuck alone. <laughs> it's like, like, honestly, if someone was to come to Scorpio and be like, but I love you, they'd be like, okay, and? Okay? What the fuck is that supposed to mean for me? <laughs> Positive movement forward. I told you, Scorpio is like in their best place. Scorpio realized, listen, the only person... When Scorpio fucked up was giving someone else the authority to make decisions in a relationship. Telling someone you got the power to have the key to happiness with me or the tool to destruction. Scorpio said, uh-uh, I'm the only authority now. You understand what I'm saying? I, I sell my own ship. I will never in my life give nobody the authority to decide where they and how they going to fit in my motherfucking life. Okay. I'm making positive movements forward. I feel like Scorpio has learned a hell of a goddamn lot. A hell of a lot. Okay? Chill. What does it say? Sacrifice. And then sacrifice is in the reverse. Scorpio is not willing to sacrifice their self, their sanity, their spiritual just groundedness. I feel like whatever they went through in the past they sacrificed too much like i said they sacrificed and they gave someone else power to make decisions conflict and grief yeah you're not willing to sacrifice yourself no more to be in a situation where you're going to be dealing with conflict and grief ever again ever again you are resting and rejuvenating. You are in a place of self-awareness. You are moving forward. You ain't sacrificing shit for no fucking body. Okay? And I feel like right now, this is the number five. This is change. This is you adapting. This is you traveling again. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is you learning how to be quick on your fucking feet when challenges arise. But yet, this is... The throat chakra. This is the throat chakra. So, Scorpios, I feel like a lot of you will be doing just like I am doing. You guys will be... And again, and again, here go the throat chakra again. This rest and rejuvenation. I feel like you guys are going to be talking and helping using your throat chakra. Now that you're in this place of awareness, you guys are going to be teaching and educating people how to be grounded with that root chakra. Honey, that groundedness, being aware, insight. Do you understand what I'm saying? Feeling protected. That self-awareness and positively moving forward. You are going to be speaking out and teaching other people, I believe. Do you understand? Because I know I'm doing it right fucking now. Trying to help people how to overcome personal conflict and grief. That is me stepping into my God is divine feminine power. Because I learned how to positively move forward and ground and root myself. And I'm trying to teach you guys. Because let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck if this is someone from the past realizing that they love you now. But I know one thing Scorpio realizes that they love Scorpio now. Scorpio is their own motherfucker star player. Scorpio don't give a fuck about none of y'all. None of y'all. But everybody is in love with Scorpio right now. Listen, Scorpio, let me tell y'all, the, the end of the month of April, you are going to get a lot of suitors. There are going to be a lot of people that want your fucking attention, that want your affection, that want your fucking juice, baby. You got the motherfucking juice. Listen, they want this juice. Your juice has just been spilling over and just, they're like, man, you got enough to get. I want some of this. You like, I don't give my juice to everybody, honey. I don't get this shit. What y'all, what y'all thought this was? This shit is an addiction. This shit is like, um, what the fuck? Absent, uh, uh, uh what's that? The, the uh, absent something, something, whatever that shit they be, uh, drinking out a motherfucker Europe and they motherfucker ban that shit because they had everybody hallucinating and shit. Bitch, that's what type of goddamn juice I got dripping. From this motherfucker shit here. Don't nobody say that there another the way Scorpio say that there another. You ain't Google the bitch. No, nah, this shit that I got is illegal. Y'all can't. Y'all, no. No. What I got is illegal, baby. You can't do this. I, this is goddess juice over here, baby. You can't do me. You can't. You better look into my eyes when I tell you. You ain't ready for this. 
Go on somewhere, Cletus. Go on somewhere. But y'all are teaching. I feel like you guys, your words and your self-awareness and your positive movement forward, you gonna be teaching a whole bunch of people. You'll be like, man, fuck these motherfuckers. Don't sacrifice. <laughs> y'all gonna be going off telling people. Y'all gonna be telling people to stop sacrificing yourself. To rest and rejuvenate. Love yourself. Don't ever sacrifice for yourself or nobody. Move fucking forward. If this person... Um, this person that represents this Ten of Pentacles in reverse, this person from this past relationship that has ended, that you gave this power to, this person could talk to the goddess, okay? Or if Scorpio could talk to the goddess, what would this person say to the goddess? Oh, that flame is out. That flame, oh my goodness, that flame is out. I feel badly for the way I treated you. You didn't deserve that. Being a part has been life changing for me. Okay. So Scorpio. This person that now realizes that they are in love with you because they see you growing. And they now recognize you as the divine feminine. They are saying, I feel badly for the way I treated you. You didn't deserve that. Y'all hit them thumbs up. Let me see them. Let me see them thumbs up in the comment section. If y'all think that if y'all agree with me and y'all know that this is the way this person is feeling. Being a part has been life changing for me. Let me see them thumbs up in the comment section. If y'all agree, if y'all really do feel like this is the way this person that you walked away from feels because you walked away from this person. You, you motherfucking did the damn Thing, Scorpio, you walked away from this motherfucker and walked into greatness, okay? And this motherfucker is feeling it. And now they realize, no, don't nobody say that in there another the way. Scorpio, say that in there another. And just the way that they are moving forward. They are moving forward victoriously. That should turn them on. That should turn them on. You are not letting this, 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 this conflict and defeat fuck with you. You are speaking out about it. You are speaking out about it. You are uplifting people. You are telling people, look, honey, go smoke a J and go sit in the forest and get your shit together. Fuck these niggas. Okay? Love is a coming. Love is a coming. Look, Scorpio is out here talking shit. <laughs> Scorpio. Scorpio. Look, look, look. See, this person expected Scorpio to be like this. Not... <laughs> bitch I feel badly for the way I treated you you didn't deserve that being a part has been life changing for me alright so let's get a rebel card spirit please give me an, an advice card in regards to this rebel deck in regards to these words that are being spoken thank you it says you're a badass act like it you are giving your power away. So, Scorpio, in regards to this person, this person know what they did. This person know that they fucked you over. They feel remorseful about it. They realize that you were the true love of their life. And just like we said in the beginning, Scorpio gave their power to this person. They said, listen, I'm giving you the chance to choose how I'm going to treat you in this situation. And you know there's no middle ground with motherfucker Scorpio. But you gave your power away to this person. And they fucked it up. And one thing that they forgot, Scorpio is a badass. And we don't just say we a badass, bitch. We are a badass and we act like you, bitch. <laughs> you're a badass. And so Spirit is saying, Scorpio, you're a badass. Continue to act like it because you are this person's karma. You are teaching this person a great lesson, Scorpio. So you continue to keep acting like the badass that you indeed are. Let's dig into love. All right. Thank you so much, Father. Please give me some guidance and love for my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Scorpio for mid-April 2019. Thank you so much, Father God. Ooh. new direction come on Scorpio I told you not only is new love cause I don't give a fuck like I said it's not even about this person realizing that if they love you 
love is going to be overflowing this spring and i'm trying i'm gonna say it and i'm going to keep saying it and, and i'm gonna keep this ace of cups right here because i want you to know that you are a goddess and the rest of this month is about loving yourself and that divine feminine goddess energy this new direction okay that you've manifested into your life because guess what bitch you are badass and you acting like it listen we don't talk we don't talk tough talk bitch we don't talk it the fuck tuh, tuh, in my mckinton voice tuh. what is this listen last summer was a bitch was it not what happened last summer scorpio I know what you did last summer. That's what Scorpio was saying. I know what you did last summer. And all of this shit that's been going on was divine timing. I feel like some shit was going on last summer and Scorpio didn't even bat an eye at it. She just let it motherfucker ride, didn't you, Scorpio? Uh-huh. Right before last summer kicked off, bitch. You said, you know what, bitch? Uh-uh. Everything happens for a reason, not a motherfucking season. And whatever the fuck that happened right before last summer or right during last summer, it was divine perfect timing. And it opened up the door for this new direction. And Scorpio, when I'm trying to tell you that God is proud of you because they said, Scorpio, you don't, you don't think I know who you are when I make you? I know who the fuck you are. I made you to be a badass. Do you understand what I'm saying? Scorpios are like, are like, are like fucking walking karma for motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of evil, stupid, dumb, wicked motherfuckers out here that like to fuck people over. And that's what Scorpios is there for. Scorpios is motherfuckers here on this earth that got so much good and light in us because we are good people. But if you fuck us over, you gonna eat the same shit that you just shot out your ass and put in my motherfucking face. <laughs> oh, so it was divine timing. Oh, it was a matter of time. It was a matter of time. And God said, you know what? I know what they did last summer. Okay? I know what they did last summer. And what happened last summer happened for a divine purpose. It was all planned by God because I'm, I'm here to push you to be this goddess. I am here to push you to be this goddess. That's the new direction that we following, baby. So, yeah, we know what they did last summer. Thank them. Thank them. Because right now, you laughing. You laughing. And not only do I think you laughing, Scorpio, you laughing all the way to the motherfucking bank. Uh-huh. Because you knew that these motherfuckers was deceptive. You knew that there was deception. One thing about Scorpio, Scorpio know everything. You knew everything. You know everything. And you just let motherfuckers do it. You didn't even motherfucking make a big deal out of it. Because you was like, uh-uh. I'm focused on my family right now. And it's okay because I'm about to clear all this shit the fuck when I'm out of here. I'm about to clear all this shit the fuck up out of here. All right? You sat back and you contemplated because you said that there's some deception going on amongst and around my fucking family and I ain't about to have it. I am not about to have it. This is what happened to Scorpio last summer. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is what happened that force and that created that okay this is too much. Okay. I guess whatever. This is what happened last summer. Okay? This is what happened last summer that pushed you in that new direction to show yourself that you was a badass. Something happened last summer that showed you deception is awry and somebody's time is the fuck up. Okay? You had this person around your family and or this person you have a family with. And you had to sit back and contemplate about what to do. Because you damn sure knew that there was deception. Okay? You knew that there was deception. And now, now, because this person that you sacrificed and you gave your power to, this person had the audacity to try to dish you conflict where you were feeling defeated. And, and, and you said, hold, hold, hold on. You think 
you're going to defeat a Scorpio? <laughs> no. Mm -mm. I'm going to pray for your forgiveness. And I'm going to pray that God forgive me. Okay? Okay? Because you know when I fucking set through. <laughs> baby, you're going to be the one in grief. Okay? You're going to be the one settling for less. you the one that's going to be suffering as goddamn... Um, <laughs> Long suffering from the separation. This is someone that can't get over the separation. Long suffering. You are the one that is settling right now. Just dealing with whatever is being offered to you right now. You're not in a situation where you're happy that you really want to be in. Okay? You're in a situation that you're settling and you don't want to be in. And you're still suffering from the heartbreak of Scorpio walking away from you. So, like I said, whatever you dish to Scorpio, they're going to dish it back to you. It might not be in the way that you dished it to them. Oh, but they're going to bake your ass. Because this motherfucker is praying for forgiveness. And they are in grief right now. They are in a deep level of grief. And they're praying that Scorpio will forgive them. Do you understand? Right now, they're settling. And they're not happy. They're settling in a relationship right now. And they're not motherfucking happy. And you see this little goddamn teddy bear right now. Whoever they're with is a fucking child. Because we grown women around here. This boss level puss over here. We don't play with fucking teddy bears, bitch. I like diamonds. Don't come and fucking try to forgive. Ask for forgiveness. Bringing me no roses and teddy bears, bitch. I'm not no motherfucking child. So this motherfucker is settling with a child and still suffering from the fact that you left them. Because you will not take them off a of mute. You blocked this person out. You muted this person. You are not talking to this person. And this person wants you to open up and talk to them. <laughs> Do you understand? They don't know how to make a decision to know which place to go. Okay? And mainly because you won't talk to them for them to figure out what to do. And, 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 and the fucked up thing is they can't even believe that you're marrying them. Because this is how they treated you when y'all were together. You don't beat them at their game, Scorpio. See, they not used to that. They not used to that. They didn't see the signs. They never thought that Scorpio would actually fucking act like this. Because like I said, when Scorpios love you, they fucking love you. And you would never fucking think that there's another fucking cold, nasty ass fucking side to a Scorpio. Oh, but they, they, they see it now. But before they didn't see the signs because they were on the right side of the fence. Do you get me? Huh. <laughs> They had no signs, no warnings that there was going to be a wrong side of the fence with this loving Scorpio. Oh, but honey, like I said, huh, huh, fall time, everything is about to fall into Scorpio's lap. And I feel like this person feels like they only have until the fall to get their self together and to figure out what the fuck they're going to do. Because you know around fall time, that's around Scorpio's birthday, right? Oh, you're in your motherfucking element, bitch. Oh, they know if fall comes and I don't figure this shit out. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up because I don't know how to not wear a motherfucking mask with Scorpio. And I know if I don't know how to take off this motherfucking mask and be who I really am and tell Scorpio the truth, I'm going to lose Scorpio the fuck forever. And they going to be dealt, left with nothing but grief and settling. For fucking over the Scorpio. I honestly don't feel like I need to read any fucking thing else. But we gonna go on in. Because I want to figure out. Okay. So with all of that being said and done. Okay. Because what we saying. Scorpio don't give a fuck about none of this shit that these people going through. Scorpio do not give a shit. This is what people are going through that's around you Scorpio. Where do we say Scorpio is at? Scorpio is in the woods with a J. Okay. And a fucking fruit salad. And some music meditating to they self like so scorpio is aware of this shit and, and, and trust scorpio is aware that this is how these people feel scorpio no scorpios don't y'all know if y'all know that shit let me see them thumbs up in the comments let me see them thumbs up in the comments because scorpio they y'all we can feel this shit give me guidance in, in regards to what's going on in the, the shadows with this person that is worried about Scorpio because Scorpio is not what well, we're worried about us we're not worried about no fucking body it's shocking to them they cannot believe that fucking Scorpio just up the fucking dipped out on him like that and just bitch 
insecure like Scorpio reverse that I believe when Scorpio was in this relationship with this person they left Scorpio alone a lot and Scorpio was feeling insecure and Scorpio is never an insecure person Scorpio is very confident you have to give them a reason to be insecure now you don't reverse it now this motherfucker is insecure because Scorpio has never given this person a reason to be insecure about anything we are dumbass loyal we are committed all of that stuff like that. And now they don't even know how to come at Scorpio. They're completely upside down and backwards. And instead, they, they're shocked. And they really don't know what to do. You, you, you know, like, have you ever been at a shootout? What is this? Warning. What's a, What warning? What warning? Have you ever been in a shootout and it's like... Maybe like before you you talking shit to somebody, man, if I ever seen somebody shooting, I would run, I would do this and I would do that. But you actually are in the middle of a fucking shootout and what you was saying that you would have did, you didn't do nothing because you were in a moment of shock and you actually didn't move at all. And someone actually had to come and grab you to get you to snap out of it. Like that's what's going on. But clarify this warning. I totally... Ruthlessness. Oh. Ruthlessness. There's a warning of ruthlessness. This person that y'all dealing with. I feel like there's somebody very, very extremely insecure. And I feel like this person that y'all dealing with. They're trying to stop some level of ruthlessness from happening in Scorpio. Somebody that they're in a superficial relationship with. But what the fuck do they... If it, like That they're trying to escape from. I feel like... I feel like okay what I'm what, what I'm getting honestly Scorpio I feel like this person that's always what is masked with you like I said they're shocked that you just got up a motherfucking dip from them right they're shocked and you're completely not phased by them you reverse the tables you put them in a place of insecurity and they can't beat this you understand what I'm saying they can't beat this and they don't like feeling like this um but there's a warning there's a warning. There's somebody that this person is in a superficial relationship with. Because, again, like we said, this person that you used to deal with, this person is about wearing masks. So this person is in a superficial relationship with someone else that they're wearing a mask with currently. That they're looking to escape that situation and come back to you. And this is a warning. Okay? Because I feel like this person in a superficial relationship kind of knows that this person is headed back to you. And... I feel like this person that has this, this in this superficial relationship with this person and your ex. This is a warning. Um, there's a warning. This person, there's going to be a level of just ruthlessness that is going to come out that is like going to not going to be able to be tamed within this person. Whoever this person is that they they have this superficial relationship with okay i feel like also that maybe this person may have done something to this person that they're in a superficial relationship with that made them feel extremely insecure because i do feel this person knows about you and it's shocking because like they're shocked you see what i'm saying that i feel like this person might have felt like they would be able to control the situation with this person and like maybe beat the Scorpio or be better than the Scorpio or outdo the Scorpio and they couldn't and the same boat that that person put the Scorpio in that's why the Scorpio left them this person is now laying in Scorpio's bed you get me okay so now this person is extremely insecure. So not only is the person that Scorpio was dealing with, they're insecure because Scorpio is completely not phased or not bothered by them. And they're settling in a situation that they don't want to be in. The person that they're dealing with is shocked 
as well. Because the person that they're dealing with is insecure because of school. Oh, well, what is this? I didn't see this. Oh, and this person, this person is trying to escape from the person that this whoever they're in this superficial relationship with. They're trying to escape this shit because they like they have to wear a mask this whole fucking relationship. And this person is uncomfortable. And that's why they're trying to escape and come back to Scorpio. Mm. Well, ain't that a motherfucker pickle pickle? Ain't that a pickle, bitch? All right, so let's do a clarification spread. I'm going to do two clarification spreads. We're getting the fuck on up out of here. But Scorpio, you a badass. Act like it. I'm going to tell you what. Whoever this other bra is or this other dude is that is dealing with. Because, you know, y'all know these inner energies could be reversed. You know, this could be what Scorpio is dealing with or this could be um, what Scorpio is doing to somebody. You see what I'm saying? I want to let you know whoever this person is that think that they think they are ruthless. You ain't seen a Scorpio. You ain't no match in bed. You ain't no match in this person's head. You ain't no match physically in the streets. You ain't no match any way you try to cut it. Okay? So don't jump too far ahead of yourself. Okay? Because <laughs> you, 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 you playing around with a crash dummy. You understand what I'm saying? Scorpio's a phoenix. Okay, we it, it, our level of, 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 of fear, it ain't there. So you're going to jump out there and then you're going to be shocked because you're going to be thinking that you fucking with the regular bitches that you be fucking with. And you're going to realize, honey, you don't woke up a beast that you should have never fucking played with. Okay, stay in your lane, sweetness. Stay in your motherfucking lane and you better Google a bitch. Scorpios, please type down in the comment section. Please tell them they better Google a bitch. Google is your best friend. Scor Scorpios, please tell these people, don't be coming around here with the bullshit. You think, who you think you about to be coming around who with this energy? Why, because you mad? You mad because you wanted Scorpios trash? And you over there getting your ass kicked? You over there getting your ass kicked trying to be Scorpio's carbon copy? And can't nobody say that in there another? The way Scorpio said that in there another? And Scorpio ain't even bothered, ain't even worried about this motherfucker? Y'all worried about Scorpio? And then you think that Scorpio is going to allow y'all to come and interrupt our peace? When we minding our business? What did God told you? Scorpio is a badass, and we going to act like it. Please think very wisely before you give your power away to somebody that will fuck you up. Choose wisely, okay? <laughs> That's all I can say. It ain't Scorpio's fault that this motherfucker is in their head feeling badly about what the fuck they did and all of this shit and they're not able to focus on you. That is not our problem. But if you come the fuck on over here with the bullshit, oh, you will have a problem. Real quick. You gonna have some heartbreak. Okay? Oh, you gonna have some heartbreak, all right, bitch. Uh-huh. Not only that, and you think that you ain't, this motherfucker fucked you out some money. Oh, bitch, you gonna have some heartbreak, and you gonna have a couple of motherfucking um, hospital bills to this boy to break your pockets, okay? You might not be able to go to work for a little bit, because your mouth might be wired like shit sipping through a straw. So you might want to think about that, because I don't think you have good judgment thinking that you gonna come Come where? Being ruthless where? With who? That's lack of judgment, baby. Please Google Scorpio. If y'all have not done y'all research to figure out Scorpios, and if y'all do not, if y'all have never seen Scorpio's wrath, think about, listen, <laughs> you better go somewhere and sit your ass down off this Kermit card. You better go and lick your wounds, all right? 
and think about what you're doing. You better retreat. You better retreat. Okay? I don't know who this nigga is cheating on you with, bitch. But it ain't Scorpio. Scorpio ain't worried about this motherfucker. Okay? So just because this person wants to come back and reunite with Scorpio does not mean that Scorpio wants to reunite with him. Okay? So just because this person got you feeling insecure, bring that insecure shit around here and get fucked up if you want to. Okay? <laughs> Alright? I know that's your lover, Gemini. Okay? I know that's your lover, Gemini. And I know that you love them. Okay? <laughs> But you're going to come around here and get some shit that you can't avoid, nor do you will motherfucking expect if you bring your ass over here. Because you love them. Scorpio don't love them. Scorpio don't give a fuck about neither one of y'all. Okay? <laughs> you going to get some shit that you ass for. You want a Scorpio? Oh, you gonna get some Scorpio. And you ain't gonna be able to avoid this tower falling down on your motherfucking ass, bitch. Because once you get Scorpio started, ain't no stopping. Ain't no tempering fucking Scorpio, bitch. Listen, ain't no tempering Scorpio, bitch. You gonna be in the fight of your motherfucking life. You see them pine cones? Oh, you, oh, that smell gonna be around forever. Okay, what Cardi B said? Or when I beef with a motherfucker, I beef with them forever. Your mom, you <laughs> hmm. Sorry that your heart is broken. Get your shit together. I got to go, you guys. That's enough. Y'all bitches be safe out here. Peace.